So in this video, we're going to see what's an environment and essentially the most important two environments, which is physical properties and the flow sheet for simulation. So first things first is to open Aspen Plus and eventually you get this, open a blank simulation. No need to open an old one or so. We wait for it, then here it goes. A lot of buttons, a lot of inputs, that's very scary. For the first time, I remember when I opened this was uh, extremely too much. There are too many buttons here and here, and every time I change these, for instance, to simulation, it changes once again, and when I change this one, which is uh, an add-on, so maybe you don't have this one open. So, for example, I don't have the safety analysis add-on, so it's, it tells me simulation needs to be run. Please enter simulation. Anyways, let's. these four are called environments. Why environments? Because they will change completely what's the menus and all the ribbons, etc. So, for example, properties are more into all the physical properties, chemistry, uh, thermodynamics on the substances, the setup, and so on. What type of methods and approaches we're going to use. The simulation is more into what's going on. So, for example, we're going to be introducing all these. Uh, unit operations and streams and how many how much uh, stream is in there for mass balances energy balances material etc so and the energy analysis will of course change its own uh, menus in order to do the energy analysis of course so these are the four environments we got right now what I want to do is a little bit more on the properties of physical properties is essentially all this right here view is what you're going to view right now there's not so many views because this is not a simulation you can always customize and resources remember it was the first landing video I did for you you can always check it from right here but the most important one will be always the home button which includes many buttons which are already right here so for example well maybe if I want to go to specifications I go here uh, for instance setup will show me setup specifications components takes me to the this carpet folder components and then specification to methods will take me to method and to specify the method so all these buttons are actually already here they just will be here because they are the most useful one actually the most important one is the setup components and the methods all others are optional for so, for example, the ionic chemistry or customize any parameter for the substances. You can even draw structures and Aspen will try to recognize it and search for it. The method assistant is a very important one. You could do it from here. And here's the button or you can click here. So typically, if you're writing the simulation and you are doing many, many things, you just We'll go to properties and change directly method assistance without going through here. So let's try that method assistant. And you will see later well, in the course we're going to watch how to use the method assistance. So anyways, let's continue. You got analysis, estimation, regression. This is more for the run mode. And this is included in all the simulations. The next button, which is what's next, what's the next input I need to do in order to be able to run my simulation. So, for example, right now I cannot run it because I haven't done anything. I haven't stated any substance, any chemistry, any science, any method, and of course any unit operation, any stream, and so on. So, it makes no sense to run it. You can always reset it, so that's good. It will always ask for you. What do you want exactly to do if you want to start the simulation or only one step and so on? and control panel will be your best friend and worst enemy because it will always show you what's happening on the logical part or the software or the programming part of the of the Aspen Plus so what happens here you click next you do I don't know, maybe this control panel will be always loading what you're doing and what's running and why there are maybe errors or any bugs so that was essentially what I wanted to show you we got setup components and method as you can see this red button means that they must or they require inputs so as I told you setup components and methods will be always 
important to set. We're going to see more into that in the next videos.